Is the Bambino Plus the easiest machine to learn to steam milk on? That is a question that we want to answer today. And so, let's make a cappuccino. In fact, let's make two, because this machine can steam either manually or automatically. So you'll see here that I've got an array of machines. I've got the Gaggi Classic Pro, I've got the Sage or Breville Bambino Plus, and I've got the La Spaziale Mini Vivaldi 2. And in my experience so far, the Sage or Breville Bambino Plus has been one of the easiest machines to steam milk on. And what you want to do when you're steaming milk, of course, is you want to get a vortex going in there. First, you want to incorporate some air and then get it really spinning well. And that is the thing that the Bambino Plus does the best. So let's take a look. So let's take some fresh milk. And if you see what I mean, it really has a lot of force. It's a four tip steam wand. And it creates a vortex for you pretty much automatically. All you really have to do is just position the steam tip off to one side and look at that milk just churn. So it's way easier to get a vortex on this machine than it is on the Gaggia Classic Pro or the DeLonghi Dedica. All right, so I've got my 14 gram dose right here. With that a little bit. My norm core tamper fits very well. And we'll pull our shot. And now here comes the fun part, the milk steaming. So I'll just purge out a little bit of condensed water. What I wish this machine did have is a valve to turn on the side, but what you gonna do? Now let's start steaming. So what this machine does extremely well is it's got really powerful steam, but it's not too hot, so it gives you time to really get the milk incorporated after you've got a vortex going. And that's the biggest advantage of this machine. It pretty much provides the vortex for you. It's very easy. And that's quite hot. And another really cool feature is it purges automatically after you've used it. Okay, let's see if we can pour a little design in here. Nice little heart design. That looks delicious. Okay, so let's try the automatic frothing one time. All right, let's go ahead and make a second cappuccino, this time with the automatic frothing. Now, this is something that's gonna be really good for if you've got a mother-in-law or somebody else who might really enjoy a cappuccino, but doesn't really have the skill just yet. So let's load up another dose. Go. Let's do the automatic frothing. This is pretty interesting because you do see this at Starbucks, you see this at some McDonald's, like at the Mick Cafe, they will oftentimes have these automatic frothers, which is pretty cool. So there's a sensor right here. It says keep dry, auto milk sensor. And that's a temperature sensor. 
So here on the Bambino Plus, you can choose how frothy you want your milk, one, two, or three, with three being the frothiest and one being the milkiest, and then the temperature with low, medium, and high. And these temperatures for me seem to be really high, so I'm gonna choose low, and I'm gonna choose the, yeah, the medium, I'll choose the medium milk foam density. So here we go. You have to make sure, of course, that the milk pitcher sits somewhat on top of the sensor. And you can see it's on top of the sensor there. And I put the tip just off to the right side. And then we just start steaming. Oh, did I run out of water? Now let's start steaming. Okay, it's all done. Again, I think it's really cool that once you put this steam tip back down, then it does an automatic purge. So you don't have to remember to do that. And this is what the milk looks like. It's nice and creamy. I learned a trick, by the way, and that is to add a little cocoa. And it makes the design look a little nicer. By the time I poured that, the milk was a little thin, as you can see, but still nice and creamy. This is manual and this is automatic. And as I said, since I'm videotaping, the milk became a bit too thin by the time I was able to pour. But still, we get a bit of an abstract heart on the automatically frothed milk. So of course the question is, how do they taste? And this is the manual one. Mmm, delightful. Nice and creamy, good texture. The automatic one, that's nice and creamy too. The texture is a little bit too thin for my taste, but hey, it just requires a little experimentation, choosing the different levels of froth on your Bambino Plus. And of course, you do have to pour as quickly as possible while the milk is still incorporated. So that's a tip for you guys. Make sure to pour your milk as soon as possible while it's still incorporated. All right, guys, I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if so, give me a like and check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.